Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you this wash and go that I did. It's super easy, super quick. It probably took me about 15 minutes to style my hair outside of the shower. Um, but before I jump in to the details of the video, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping in and clicking on my video. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy natural hair and beauty videos. Um, I definitely will be posting a lot. I have been posting a lot. So definitely subscribe if you like that type of content. If you are old here, welcome back and thank you for stopping by. But today we're going to get into this wash and go. I use some products from my last video. But I used the gel and cream from African Pride, which you guys saw in my last video. Um, but this time I added the mousse because I really wasn't sure what to do with the mousse that came in the curl box because I have no intentions on doing a roller set anytime soon. Um, but I wanted to try this out and use it. Um, so I did use this in the gel and cream to style my hair. Um, I will let you know my thoughts at the end of the video as far as what I think of the mousse. I already told you guys what I th thought of the gel and cream. So if you guys want to see that, check out my last video. It's, I think it's over here. Over here. I will have it up in the card section, but I will, I have that in my last video. So you guys can check out that video if you want to know my thoughts on the gel and cream. But I will let you guys know my thoughts about the mousse at the end of this video. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this wash and go, then keep on watching. So I'm just starting off with my hair with just the leave-in conditioner and oil that I put in in the shower. And I'm just hopping right into the tutorial. I'm gonna apply the gel and cream. I'm gonna apply that amount to each section. I'm not gonna apply a lot. Um, I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out, so I didn't wanna apply too much. So I'm just gonna apply that and brush it through with my tweezer and brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this foam, which I will get into at the end of this video. Um, but as you can see, it was not coming out quite foamy um, which was kind of disappointing so I don't know if my results like the results were affected by this but um, I just went in and kind of combed finger combed that through um, and again I repeated those steps all over my hair again the gel and cream and then right after that I did go in with the um, mousse <laughs> or <laughs> curl mousse but I went in that and applied it over it I would say because I didn't mention this in the end of the video that my hair did not have a lot of crunch um, or as much crunch as it did in the last one not that the last one had that much crunch either way but I did notice a difference in the crunch um, and I pretty much just repeat these steps all over my head as you guys can see um, and that's pretty much for the um, it for the product application I did sit under my hooded dryer um, for about 30 to 40 minutes um, and my hair was completely dry I did go in and stretch my hair with the blow dryer which you guys have seen that before um, and you'll see the results um, at the end of the video but that is it for the application process Okay, so that is it for the look, guys. It was pretty easy, pretty simple. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I applied my leave-in and my oil inside the shower. And then once I came out, I just applied the cream and gel and the curl mousse. Now, the curl mousse, I know you guys saw in the video that it was not coming out foamy. It was literally just coming out like liquid. I don't know if this is just a dysfunctional cap. But it was not coming out foamy. I'm actually going to try it again on camera. Because I think I showed you guys in the video though. But it was not coming out foamy at all. It was literally coming out like like liquid. Which I still use it. So 
yeah, see, it's coming out liquid. It's not coming out foamy at all. Um, and I use quite a bit of it. Um, but I do love the way it smells. It smells really, really good. I do like how it applied on my hair. Um, in comparison to my last wash and go, I will say this one feels more... I don't know fluffy or like just more effortless like it's not as defined um not that my I think the last one was a little bit more defined but it wasn't it's not as defined and I, I don't feel like my hair feels really like pillowy soft to me it feels like like effortless I feel like as much products as I used, I used pretty much the leave-in the oil the gel and cream and the curl mousse I thought my hair would feel a little bit softer even close to being feeling weighed down it doesn't feel like that at all it feels really really nice but it doesn't feel as soft as I would prefer like I feel like I'm definitely going to redo this washing a day in like a couple days um but I do like the results of it I feel like the mousse lets me have like that big hair on day one without having to pick it out like I did with just the gel and cream like when the gel and cream I had to pick it out a little bit more I feel like adding the mousse on kind of helped me not have to do that so that's a plus there but overall I do like how it came out my only drawback is actually how the actual hair feels like I don't know other people says it feels soft but I've had softer hair so I guess that's what I'm comparing it to but it does feel nice it looks nice I do like that I got the volume on day one without really having to pick my hair out all I did was stretch my hair and separate um, my strands and I got this volume I didn't use a pick comb or anything like that so I do like how this turned out I will definitely go back and try the curl mousse again if you guys know any tips or like if there's a mousse bottle that I can buy and just transfer the product into that one and try that again I'll do that but it wasn't coming out very moussey it came out as a liquid um, I probably could have just had a defective bottle which kind of stinks but it's not really a big deal because I feel like it still works the same way either way, I think. But nonetheless, I do like this combo. It came out nice, actually. It's probably like one of those wash and goes that would be easy for me to do during the week when I need to like redo my hair and refresh my hair and I want to do a wash and go midweek. Um, I feel like that combo would be great for that because I actually my hair dried a lot faster. It probably dried in about 35, 40 minutes with using those two products. Um, so that was definitely a plus. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, as I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn your notifications on so that you do not miss an upload. Also check out my ebook, which is five tips of starting a hair care regimen. I will have a link for that down below. Also, if you guys are um, interested in having one-on-one -on -one hair consultations with me definitely check out the links down in the description box and I will see you guys in my next one bye